Hi there, how are you? Oh, fine. And uh, what do you think about the uh, dolphin slaughter? I think it should be stopped. Definitely. Uh, and uh, where is this taking place? In Japan. Every year. About 25,000, somewhere in that neighborhood every year. Wow, well, that's a lot, yeah. Um, do, you know, do you know the name of the corporations that do this by any chance? No, I don't. I don't know the name of the corporations. There's a fantastic movie out. Um, it's entitled Earthlings, and it shows the dolphin slaughter specifically. Um, you can see them corralling them and imprisoning them, and they separate the uh, uh, dolphin babies from the mothers. And of course, the dolphin mothers want to save their baby, and so that's how they get them, and they corral them and then they slaughter them up on land, and it's just absolutely horrific. It will bring tears to your eyes. But the movie is called Earthlings, and it was written, produced, and uh, directed by Sean Monson. And no one would, there's not one distributor who will distribute this movie, because they say people won't watch it, and it's probably one of the most powerful movies that I've ever seen. And this explains how human beings treat fellow living creatures. So, Earthlings is a great movie to see if you want to see how these poor dolphins are killed and slaughtered every year. Any last comments here you'd like to make here? Uh, not at this time. No, uh, I was going to back my wife up on Earthlings. I think it's probably the best movie I've ever seen. And it's a documentary. It's uh, narrated by Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Very professionally done. And it, uh, it cites animal cruelty in all forms, but it definitely deals with the treatment of, of the dolphins and how we're ruining the seas. Is this, is this for meat purpose or is it's, it for um, the, fishing the industry? Dolphins, it's, it's fishing, meat, dairy. <laughs> uh, it oh, covers yeah. all topics. It yes. covers all topics. Entertainment, clothing, how we wear animals for clothing entertainment purposes, food, experimentation, medical research, all of it. How we have taken them and just because we can, we're doing this. You know, and they're defenseless, they don't have any voice, and we have to be their voice for them. They're innocent creatures and they need they need us to speak up for them. We need to speak up. We need to stand up and speak their mind and say that the Japanese consulate needs to know that this should stop. And uh, did you make this uh, sign? No. It's pretty good. It's really good. Let yeah. me get a shot of it here. So is this being done worldwide, or is it just in maybe Japan or other countries, or I think you know? It's just Japan. I don't know Japan's for sure. Japan. I just. Yeah. My mom told me this is happening. I didn't know. What's your feeling about about um, people um, being insensitive to uh, animals anyway? I mean, you know. I've been a vegetarian all my life because my mom, she raised me vegetarian, but then when I was 10 or 12, she showed me slaughterhouse videos. And That's I realized that this is definitely something that I feel strongly about. That wow. No animal should be slaughtered, I guess. Wow. Really good. So you're one of the few people that started from, you know, childhood. Yeah. And then, you know, evolved from, from that point on uh, vegetarianism. That's really good. That's good to hear, yeah. More people should know. And then they, I think it was Paul McCartney that said if slaughterhouses had glass walls that everybody would be vegetarian. Wow, really? So, wow, I, I think so. That. Wow. Well, that's really good, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. That's really good. Yeah, that's a good saying, yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you the cause of, of stopping these uh, dolphin slaughter uh, situations in Japan. I uh, did write my daughter-in-law, who lives in Taipei with my son. She is uh, Japanese, and she said she would call and write and try to get her relatives and friends back in Japan activated. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. That's, that's very good, yeah. That's one, that's one way to get the message out. So, um, I'm impressed with this turnout, so the word is getting around and the organizers um, have done a really good job. Thank you, Ruth. Very good. Pauline, and she's from, I think, France? France, yes. Yeah, well. Hi, Rabbit. I'm very glad to see such a big turnout today because 
what the dolphins go through is so horrible that we must tell the world about this, this tragedy. It's a disaster to kill these dolphins for food, to kill them, to have a, a, a bloody mess, and, and it has to stop. So we all have to know, and that's why we are here today. Thank you for being here, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So here we have another human standing in Seattle protesting the dolphins. Hi, I'm Donna, and I'm from Everett, Washington. And um, I just think this is such a good cause, and it's just a travesty what they're doing over in Japan. And um, if you've ever seen it on the Discovery Channel, uh, there's a show on there that they show periodically about this. And it's just, it brings tears to your eyes. So. It might be kind of hard to watch, huh? Yes, yes, it was very hard. But, um, but we need to get that message it's out. It's getting the message out there. So uh, thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Good, see, that's it. Oh, good, good, thank you. Uh, my name is Bruce Wiley. I'm from Seattle, Washington. Hi, Bruce. And um, I think more than anything, pictures tell the story of why so many of us are here today. You watch the video of that slaughter of all those amazingly cool animals in that uh, bay in Japan, you, it just turns your stomach. And I, uh, you don't have to be a vegetarian to feel that way. Uh, if you think it's moral for people to eat meat, I, I understand that. But to, to be so vicious, there's just no need for the viciousness. And it's that that, that just uh, tears at me. I, I, and honestly, uh, too, I think that the, the Japanese culture has, um, a, as we all do, but that culture seems to have a penchant for inflicting suffering that um, is deep. Uh, we have our own issues, they have theirs, and on this day, this is something that they should look into their hearts about, whether it's... Uh, you know, the dolphins or uh, shark fin soup. I saw a documentary on that and it's the same thing. It's just unnecessarily cruel. Hi there. How, how are you today? I'm good. <laughs> good. Now let's see your sign here. I think you got the sign is uh, Japan. It's good because it's bright. It's good and bright. It's good and bright, yeah. Everybody's going to see that. So what, what do you think about the worldwide, is it the worldwide slaughter, or is it just, just Japan? Japan. It's just Japan. Japan. It's just Japan. Okay. I think go. it's, uh, I think it's absolutely hum inhumane and needs to be illegal because dolphins are intelligent. They have families. They have a culture. They mourn for their families that are being slaughtered in front of them. And I think there's absolutely no excuse not to let that happen. And Japan should know that they're intelligent people. We are. Did you have a chance to watch the uh, video on it? The video on the slaughter? I did. I've not. I have watched a video on it. I don't know if it's the one you're talking about, but I know they. I mean, they do it yearly. So I don't know if it's the same video. Oh, it's pretty and bloody, it's I bet. You know? Very bloody. I couldn't watch. I tried to watch it. I went. It's awful. Oh. It's absolutely awful. It's, I already know, so it's not for me. It's yeah. for somebody else. But yeah. it's just one person, you know. You can change one person's mind and they can spread it. It's like multi-level marketing or something. It is, and people don't even know about it. I introduced my sister to it. She didn't know that it happened. People that work for me didn't know it happened. So, oh, really? wow. we just need to make everybody aware that it's happening. Definitely, yeah. And then maybe it will stop. Yeah. Besides yeah. they're what, tested and, and full of mercury, which we have done to them already. So when Japan feeds that meat to their children, they're poisoning their children. 